first thing you need to do is back up your your GC your compact tractor uh, to the hitch arm. We're going to attach the hitch arms. We've got a pin and a bolt or a pin and a clip. And if you leave your if you're on a flat surface, you can leave your tractor in neutral to make it easier. Put that through. Take your quick clip and attach it to the pin. We'll need to do that on both sides. We'll come over to this side. Uh, if you're on a slope, you may need to have a second party to help you. With the smaller size of this tractor, you can rotate it back a little bit just to make those fit in nice and easy. Next thing that I like to do is connect my PTO shaft. Because of the top link may be getting in your way, you need to, it makes it a little easier. You got a push pin right there that you're going to push in that retracts the, the latch mechanism to connect to your PTO. So what you need to do is just pick it up. First thing, you want to make sure that you have plenty of clearance. If it's too short, you may need to adjust your PTO shaft. I can show you on this mower there are some optional settings position. Okay, my PTO shaft, the splines ain't lined up. What you want to do is come up here, make sure your tractor's in the neutral position. It's not engaged, which what that allows me to do is reach down here and grab the PTO shaft and turn it to match the implement spline. Once you have it on there, you put you can slip it on about that far before you have to push the pin. Push the pin, put it in, make sure it's nice and snug. And then you'll want to attach the safety chain to the tractor from the PTO shield. Next step is we're going to remove our latch from here. We've got our top link pin here and what we need to do is attach it to here so what we need to do is lengthen this out we're going to need to lengthen it quite a bit and this is the fact the oh, the tractor manufacturers top length pin we want to use the pin that came with the the mower because it's long enough to go through so get that ready because what you want to do is you want to have this thing you don't want it straight out you want to leave the, a little bit of gap so this mower can move up and down. But we need to attach that, so we'll get our top link here. Just turn it. Once we get close here, then we can do final adjustments. Need a little bit more uh, distance there. We're getting close. What I like to do is take the pin, get it in there. We need to clean some paint here because everything's bright, fresh, and new. And get that centered and go make it a lot easier to attach your, your pin in there. And see, you can just do that until you get the pin in. makes it nice and easy. But now I'm looking at this. I don't have a lot of travel, so... What I'm going to do is I'm going to lengthen this a little bit more so I get a little bit of play so this thing can follow the ground contours. Then we're going to lock it down with our jam nut. The next step you want to do is check your bushings. This is, you've got different bushings here. You want to make sure they're all the same. You've got different thicknesses by gauging the deck height. If you want to go lower, you raise the wheels up by taking bushings and putting them on the top side. If you want to go higher, you can take this bushing and go to the other side or any combination. You've got grease circs on your spindles there. You've got, uh, you want to check the oil and everything to make sure that it's ready to go. But uh, that's all it is to basically set up a finished mower on a compact tractor. 
these come in a variety of sizes this is a five foot we have a six foot there and they also make a seven foot version of it top link PTO shaft and lower link arms is your main thing now there's one other adjustment we come right down here you can actually see there's two pins if you want to float the mower more you can take out this top pin this front pin and you, what I do is I just install it back here and that's going to allow the mower to follow the ground contours even better the whole thing of a finished mower is you want it to ride on these four wheels so you can follow contours as you go across the ground this is going to give you that nice manicured lawn look and we're going to do the same thing over here pull this pin and pull it out if you need added adjustments you've got different holes in here that you can move this clevis tongue forward or back by based on your holes we've got a lot of good clearance here but when we raise the tractor that's when it's going to really tell and we can do that by putting this tractor in neutral setting the parking brake I can start the tractor and raise it lower <laughs> you can see how it raised up nice and flat our wheels are not getting into our tractor everything's good and clear the only thing we want to check we want to tighten we want to tighten up that a little bit now one thing with the finish mower we're just going to slide the camera up underneath here and show you is you've got multiple blades you got three blades on this thing they're a fixed blade sharpened blade right here on the edge that's and that's going to cut the grass versus beating the grass and that's the difference between a rotary cutter and a finish mower is this cuts more like you're is going to cut the grass versus beating it you have three blades they're belt driven you've got a main gearbox coming in that runs a belt underneath this cover and that's one thing you want to check as far as your maintenance item is that besides your cutting height and your daily and and your maintenance needs that you need to take care of. there's two main variations of finish mowers you have a side discharge that's going to discharge all the grass to one side or is this one here is a rear discharge machine that is going to throw all the grass behind you and we'll see that when we go out here and show you some action in the field To get started, my recommendation is run your engine speed up just a little bit. It makes it a lot easier. We've got the 540 in range. Next thing we need to do is engage. We're going to lower the machine a little bit to get our drive line out of that severe angle. We don't have as much angle that way, so it's easier on our drive line. We've got to take it through our sequence here. Next we're going to want to run it up to the 540 speed. Now we're ready to operate. So what we're going to do is we're going to lower the, peak, the hitch all the way down so the ground, it follows the ground contour. And you'll see the machine follow. Does a really nice job of discharging that grass out the back. You can turn corners. You see 
it swings out a little wide. Come back and we'll follow the we'll follow the contour again. That's mowing with a Rhino Ag FA 513 finish mower. Come to our end, we're going to throttle back down. We'll throttle back down about halfway, and then we'll take our PTO out of gear. And that stops our finish mower, and then we can raise it. And you can look at this cut quality. Look at how nice, how I cut that grass. Nice and smooth. Does a very good manicured job. That's what you get from a finish mower. Even though we went over this little hump here and stuff, you can see how well it nice, it followed this nice contour all the way across there. So when you're looking for a finish mower, you might want to check out the three-point mounted option, the, the Rhino Ag rear discharge, FA series finish mowers. This is the 513, the five foot cut from Rhino Ag. We hope that helped you learn a little bit more about finish mowers. It's a great option for mowing. The benefits of the finish mower is you can back it under trees, you can keep your tractor out of the, the brush and that type of stuff. If you got pine trees, cedar trees, that type of stuff, you, you can back it up underneath those type of things. The biggest disadvantage is when you turn, it will come out behind you. But it's a lot easier to connect. It's very simple to connect to the back. It provides that great lawn manicured look that you're looking for for your yard. It floats on the gauge wheels. And that is what you're looking for when you're looking for a finish mower. Check out these Rhino Ag series of finish mowers. They are an extreme duty great life on them we've had a lot we sell a lot of these finished mowers of all sizes the five six and seven footers and they make a great package with your massey ferguson compact tractor if you're in west central missouri come visit us at varnberg implement we're your massey ferguson and rhino ag dealer here in higginsville missouri right on business 13 and missouri 13 just four miles north of interstate 70 and just a short drive out of kansas city we're 49 miles from the Kansas line we've got a wide array of tractors from subcompacts all the way up to the mid-range tractor in stock right now at Varnberg implement we're your Massey Ferguson Rhino Ag dealer here in Higginsville Missouri and we'd like to show you and teach you and help you get more out of your tractor and implement buying needs